With coverage you can count on. Now your first worn five forecast with meteorologist Brian Bachman. Good morning everyone. Very happy Sunday to you. Pleasant start to the day for most of us out there. Granted, with a little bit of fog in a few locations, especially in areas off to the north of the Tri-Cities this morning. But overall, as we saw in our live cam a little while ago, plenty of sunshine. And that's going to be the trend for most, if not all, of today and really the next couple of days as well. Let's get you out to your first one five pinpoint Doppler radar this morning. Now there is some wet weather, but it's just to the south of our immediate area. You can see it actually just to the south of Shiawassee County there. But uh, that's basically it as far as the wet weather is concerned. Nothing else to really deal with out there this morning as far as that is concerned. And these uh, bands will tend to kind of stay hovering along the frontal boundary that's draped just to our south. So we don't really anticipate them to edge their way back to the north at all. So we're expecting a very dry and pleasant day ahead. Let's take a look at things outside right now on your live cameras here over Bay City where the bright sunrise beginning to take shape there, albeit filtering in between a few areas of clouds out there this morning, but not bad. Current temperature at 58 degrees, so a comfortably cool start to the day and the dew points back down from where they were last night into the middle 50s, so comfortable levels of humidity to go along with that. Temperature wise elsewhere around mid Michigan, as we showed you a little while ago, a little bit of a mixed bag where it's been clearer. It's cooler. 46 degrees for you in Houghton Lake this morning, 55 in Escoda and the Lake Shore keeping things a little bit milder. Port Hope, you're already at 60 degrees. 49 for you in Bad Axe, and then a mixture of upper 50s and low 60s as you head back toward interior parts of mid Michigan this morning. We mentioned too, of course, that fog and again impacting mainly the inland areas. We did see a little bit of it on our Mount Pleasant camera there up toward Houghton Lake as well. Reports of some pretty dense fog in those areas, so the best uh, use is just use caution on the roads this morning. Those uh, conditions can change rather quickly with that patchy fog. You can see though the wet weather staying to our south along the radar all the uh, during the overnight period, but those clouds trying to edge their way back in briefly. And what's going to happen over the next several days is we have this zone of high pressure sitting back over portions of the lower plains there. It actually expands well back into the desert southwest and over the next several days this high will very slowly start to build its way into the eastern half of the United States. And as that happens, we do still have this frontal boundary, as we mentioned, draped to the south. It will tend to push that back through our neck of the woods, which by about midweek will lead to at least a couple of days worth of some unsettled weather, but not before we get to enjoy the second half of our weekend here. Rain free. Look at that on your first one five hour by hour forecast. Here's midday, just a partly to mostly sunny sky taking shape. That will take us through the remainder of today into tonight. And then as we head into our Monday, essentially a repeat performance with some very nice weather ahead. So for today, we're looking at a high of about 75. Some morning fog burns off and we're left with some pleasant sunshine. And then a little bit of an unsettled middle portion of the week. But by all accounts, by next weekend, we could get back to some, and hold on for this, real summertime weather. All right, <laughs> sounds great. I mean, it is still August, so it'd be nice to have a few warmer temperatures before everyone heads back to school. I could so. not agree more. All right, thanks, Brian.